to to the time that we begin to to do our 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 contribution as well. Someone posted, one of the admin, Nigeria Civil War. <laughs> Is it in Yoruba interest? Why don't we trust ourselves? Are we building one family? Please help me note these three questions from one of the admin. Maybe he didn't want to forget, so he quickly posted it. Nigeria Civil War. Is it in Yoruba interest? All of us will contribute. <laughs> and with my lecture, I see so many things very dicey. I will tell you it's not in Yoruba's interest. Some people may have interest, some may not have. We are always divided. But it is time for us now to know what should be our collective goals, pursuit, aspiration, and interest. Why don't we trust ourselves? That has been an age-long problem, attitudinal problem, like I said. Our wrong attitude, not to stop us from, from trusting ourselves. In the Yoruba land in those days, no trust. What is our problem? Wrong attitude. Wrong attitude. Are we building one family? Well, let, it, let us discuss it as a larger house. I continue. Present day reality. Nepotism. <laughs> Farmers full and elders crisis. Insecurity in the land. Justice deny and justice delay. You can see there's a rot in the judicial system of our nation. See, I told you, I may not be able to go into full detail today. I once been a victim of the of the of the nonsense judicial system we have in this nation. But it was God that stood by me. When they will see the truth and they will be parabolating. They will know the truth, but they will be parambulating because they walk like a cabal. If you do not belong to a court, to, to a clique, you may not be able to get justice. Sabotage to nation's economic growth in a way that they monopolize every aspect of, of economy to favor them, themselves. So they've cornered the economy of this nation. Even those at the National Assembly, some people help them to get there. So any policy they make must favor those people that put them in government. So anything, economy and commerce, they must think of them first because some people put, use their money to put them there. They are not in government, but they run the government. They are not voted or not elected to any position, but they are the one controlling the government to their selfish interest. Hmm. So, Sabotage to nation's economic growth in a way that they monopolize every aspect of economy to favor them alone. Vote buying and poor electionary system. Hey, my dear people, we have our own photo. The followers, the masses that do vote. Hey, how are you doing it? You know yourself. The money you've collected so far since they, they've been bribing you and they've been bribing their way. What have you gained? What are, how far have you gone, my dear brothers and sisters? Thank you. <laughs> What of rape and ritual killings on the increase? Kidnapping linking to the powerful people in the society. Poor representation of masses at the states and federal legislative level. And one of Polok Potaka, basically, they are done do's, they are done this and done do's. That cannot move anything. If I want to live by me and you see what you, they are there. They occupy the larger percentage of our assemblies, both national and state assemblies. Some, I concur, I agree, they raise their hand, bang, I have it, no, or whatever. They bang, they bang, bang, they are there for years. But you voted them, and you continue to vote them. <laughs> May God forgive us. Poor representation of masses at the states and federal legislative level. Infrastructure decay. Decay in health sector, education sector, and others. You can see COVID-19 COVID has further exposed us that we never prepare. We never prepare, and I don't know when the preparation will start. We don't have anything. God forbid, thank God for his mercy over this nation and for over the Yorubas. We are not prepared, and I'm not sure we are ready to get it right. But we must at all costs. Youth, it's in your hand to move right now and stand for what is right. Let the process start peacefully in a way that they will not have choice but than to listen to us. In our different places, let the agitation continue. 
in a way you can agitate, agitate. It is time, now or never. Insurgency. Some people feel the fat on it. Is that by making it difficult to end? See, see, this insurgency is not even for today. Maybe for another time. If you know what is going on, the billions of dollars voted for defense that nobody is coming back to prove. If they tell, if they tell us that uh, 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 they shot 1,000 bullets inside Sambisa last night, who will query them? Were you there? They, they need more bullets. That bullet is exhausted. They need to, to buy more. They must look for money to buy more. And meanwhile, they are not, not uh, shooting any bullet. Some people are supplying logistics to the Sambisa, either to the Army or to the Boko Haram. Some people are supplying medicine, drugs, clothes, food, and other things to them. Those one powerful people in Nigeria will not expect insurgency to stop because they need to make money from that uh, stupid act. Poor attention and low patronage of our, to our local content production. Just anything local content, local thing that we are fabricating, producing, no patronage from ages till now. And we are expecting to become China overnight. We continue to be to play second position or even fourth and fifth position. Examination my practices on the increase. Certificate like a tearing, look at our leaders, how many of them. Those certificates should not be the only bone of contention, but the attitude doing it right. So, and when I talk about education, it's not only about uh, 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 BSc, BA classroom education, it should be holistic education. Holistic. Being knowledge, being learned in all aspects of education, either in the classroom or in, in your community, any, or you go and learn a trade or learn, learn work. Education is education. Some people will say they learn how to do uh, carpentry work, ele uh, electronic work from their masters in different shops, and they will not, not finish, they won't graduate. They don't know anything. They will go and start their own somewhere because they cannot endure. It's a part of certificate racketeering. It's not only from the people that attend their school. There are so many problems that are present day reality that we are facing that is not good. My submission on this present day reality is that our problem remains attitudinal problem. And until we look back and decide to do it right, nobody is coming to do it for us. We are on a time bomb. So it's better we act fast to do that which is right on time. I can see another question from one of the admin. Again, Yoruba in new democratic setting. He, they ask, he asked the question, is June 12th recognition a political move to divide Yorubas? Uh, even if they've done that to divide us, uh, we've achieved our, our aims. But I believe that they've done that to score a political point against somebody. Against somebody. Because when the, the person, they saw him becoming too powerful, he has a very big mouth to talk to anybody in government. And they ask, what can we do so that he, he, he will have a, a low recognition among his people? Because he failed to do this thing when he was there. And maybe he wanted to do it at that time. They were the ones that did not even support him. But now that they are at the government and he is not really romancing with them again. What can we do to have a big political score among his people to get a big recognition so that he will no longer be that so, so recognized among his people? But our prayer answered. Why does June 12 acceptance suffer so during the Obasanjo Democratic government? You know the, the person I'm talking about. Maybe some of you, you, you will know. See, when, whenever I look at the people from Ogun State, I see a kind of a division, no unity. No unity. Shonekan is from Ogun State. Abela is from Ogun State. Awolowo is from Ogun State. Obasanjo is from Ogun State. Our present vibrant and able vice president is from Ogun State. Do you think they really support uh, our, our, our present vice president from Ogun State? You see a lot of Ogun people and all that. Yoruba said a lot of things. We allow so many sentiments to occupy our mind, not to see the focus that we should have. And we begin to say a lot of things. That is why I said, are there any problem from the state? Are there any problem from their home state? Why are they having issue from their home state? 
almost all of them are from the same state and they never support or give way for themselves and other part of Yorubas are not supporting one another why does June 12 acceptance suffers during Obasanjo's democratic government? I know I want to wait for some of us to answer this. Why? Maybe you believe that the democracy date should be May 29, when the transition actually occurred in 1999, when we moved into another democratic dispensation. The story started May 29. Now, should that May 29 be just forgotten? When democracy was returned back to us, May 29, should that date also be forgotten? Now, why is it that they did not change it to June 12 that we've been asking for that they should recognize? Can June 12 be also be recognized and the date, May 29, still also be recognized as the date that uh, we found ourselves in, in a new democratic setting that we are enjoying now? May 29. Should that date not be remembered again when we find ourselves in a new democratic pedestrian? Should that date should just die like that? Can June 12 also be remembered for another purpose, for another that 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 national reason? Fine, it has been changed to June 12 now. Okay, by me, I don't have any grievances or any problem. I'm okay. I'm satisfied. June 12 should be remembered. That is what I want. A prayer answered. But the people that fought and brought back new democratic dispensation in 1999 from Obasanjo period, May 29. It's, it will always be in the history that May 29, we started another phase of democratic journey in Nigeria. It will not be in the history that is June 12. Obasanjo era to Yaradwa to good luck, it's always May 29. <laughs> it is in the history. So that is why I begin to suspect some a trickish reason, some a funny reason behind it. When Obasanjo came in 1999, why can't they make it June 12? Why May 29? What happened that they did not make that uh, 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 error of ushering them in to be June 12? If they've actually given us Obasanjo and Ulufala then to pick one, and they gave us Obasanjo so that why it was a picky June 12 Latin Banya to be the date. T. Amama Lua Democratic as a democracy day. Pay Ibayan won Bura Walefu on May 29. Niama she Bura Walefu and will lose a loom me, Nick Pilati, Nick Joba, or Lady. Why it was a picky June 12. Why it was a picky May 29. Kina Waturi, Lobet of your water, water, she Padawa Padawa, see June 12 again. Who was a picky June 12 Latin Bayer or Tel Tony Noa or Tagbado Cotani Noa Ma Paru? She go to Mawanino, what if one June 12 were one division democracy day, Odumanino, a what if that are your tire, Suban, Unto Alenia Fajillo. Do we need federalism, regional autonomy, ETC? <laughs> I bet with you. I think it's one of the things that uh, I would want us to have. True federalism, true federalism. Regional autonomy, because things are not working as the way that we are running it now. Um, to she share one ola gun, a fama kuni, o kan she share ni kuri inkeje. Oh, mala shoti wa kisa o mele na tin jigwe na. Eni to she share gan gan, to ni share, to she share, to ni share, to she share. Ibing pa. Now, the next segment that I want to discuss, I said Nigeria and the Yorubas, the way forward, areas of concern and my submission. I have few areas of concern, and I have my submission. I may not have covered some other aspects, but only few that I can cover. Areas of concern are my submission. One, I started with education. We need to examine our position educationally within our dear federation. Are we doing better or worse? Question mark. Chief Obama was free education started in 1955. 
and was then widely acclaimed that it was the most successful even in Africa, south of Sahara. But despite this, we have several street urchins on the street in the region. It was said that Yoruba kids was as likely to drop out of secondary school as a child from southeast. <laughs> but jumps figures shows that the southeastern state lead the pack in the number of candidates seeking admission. So if we are, if we believe that we are, we, we are doing well, so why are we not leading? We need to reflect as a region and do something about that. How can we achieve that as a region? There is a commission called DAWN, D-A-W-N, Development Agenda for Western Nigeria. We can, as a region, determine what percentage of the budget do we expend on education. We can make it 12% and increase it every year, every two years by 1%. And this commission will manage all these things for the Western Nigeria. And we need to tighten the loopholes so that the funds do not go down the drain. That's our problem, Ujuko Kuro, you know, the attitudinal problem. Mm -hmm. If you move around government school in Nigeria and in our region that are already dilapidated, dilapidated, and no new methodology in teaching injected to the system, please, if you permit me to talk about the educational system in Nigeria, uh, some years back I found myself in the education world, both within and outside Nigeria, and I've been opportuned uh, to run so many courses online with the, Niger with the British Council of Nigeria. And as I speak to you today, I've been certified and I have certificate on more than 25 courses online that are British certified, certified, and some country certified this certificate in the area of education. When I go to government school, public schools, I cry and I weep. When I look at our teacher, no stop, no quality again, no training and retraining. They are not exposed any longer. They are cake and nothing government, and government is not doing anything to improve them. I'm not blaming them, but I'm not blaming at all these government teachers, all these public school teachers. They will kill themselves. The resources are not available for them to to get trained and be retrained. And nobody is looking at that, at that direction. And is giving birth to, to so many private schools here and there. And all the private schools here and there, some of them are mushroom. They don't even know what it takes when we talk about the value in education system. As if you move around government schools in Nigeria, in a region that are already dilapidated and no new methodology in teaching injected to the system, private schools are not doing better either. As some of them are established just to make their profit or gain, not because they have all necessary qualifications to establish schools. The percentages of private schools that are getting it right are very few. Presently, no proper and adequate monitoring and evaluation of educational system, as almost government starts from Ministry of Education to do that are behind the time. They are cake. Government of the West needs to be proactive and do it right. It's still about putting up the right attitude to get the right attitude. Let me quickly run through other things that I have before we begin to now make our comment. <clears throat> when you look at our education, you can read more from the, from the, from the writer because by 3.20 p.m. we want to open the floor for questions and contribution. So I believe that some of us, we've read my post either on a document or on PDF and so that we can quickly, so that we won't waste much of our time on education. You can see. And then about commerce. In the past, Chief Papa Femolowo built a conglomerate or do a group of companies which had big outfits such as Premier Hotel, Nigeria Wire and Cable, Wema Board and so on. Surprisingly, many of these companies are not doing well again. Why? Can you remember how our attempt at forming a regional telecommunication outfit or do hotel ended in a fiasco? Can we forget how they killed Sketch, or oh, Dua Texta, and others? With the death of these outfits, unemployment becomes the order of the day. Can we reserve this? Can we reverse this? <laughs> I don't know. If they are going, if they have gone to the waters, how do we engage the budding youth we turn out in thousands from the secondary school, college of education, technical colleges, polytechnics, and universities in the region? We need to think reflectively about that. At there are external forces outside Western region with some bad cohort within us frustrating our progress. And who do not like the pace we started progressively in the West for their selfish reason? Next one, economy. 
Lagos earns about 70% of our taxes, but it is bedeviled with several problems the center is not addressing. So we have to, as a region, irrespective of party affiliation, go for restructuring of the polity. So many things are wrong. I'm not happy with how federal government has handled conditional cash transfer issue, issues, whereas the southwestern states were put in absolute demerit. How do we play the politics and ensure the polity is restructured? Is this present government ready? How do we continue to discuss with others of like minds outside of the region so that each region can spend a chunk of what it earns as it happens in most true federalism such as USA? How do we have a weak center? The solution to this problem is that we need to, sp to speak in one voice, have a solid home and launch our diplomatic attack. We have to get the, the country restructured here now. Security. Obviously, without security, there can be no development, and without development and growth in the economy, poverty will be the end result. The Southwest attempt at launching a regional security outfit is commendable. The Amatekon, which is the regional signature in security, is good, even though so many storms and controversy came up from some groups' region. For unfounded reasons, we show they don't think, think well of us. We still thank God for making it possible. On Amatekon Security Network, the issue now is how do we deploy them to ensure all farmers in the remote villages are protected from headsmen and local criminals? How do we utilize them to fence off criminals in the cities? How do we make sure they are not hijacked by some people in the society for their selfish and personal gain? What is our position as regards regional forces? How do we push the narrative out and sell to others? Many questions that I want my audience to ruminate over a security issue is key to governance, to good governance and development of people in all sides. Now I move to agriculture. Nigeria was the second largest product, producer of cocoa in the 50s and 60s to the 70s after Ghana. And the Western region was a strong force for that push. We were also good in food crop production. Chief ah, Awolowo ah. encouraged farmers, established farm settlement and so on. The Southwest could fuel itself could feed itself, but not any longer. We have abandoned agriculture for all it is worth. Now, we have lost all of that. Many of those farmers, many of those farms, what percentage of our people takes part in, in agriculture? No support and encouragement, again, is only on paper we read different policy, support given, and the rest, but practically nothing is happening. We need to develop our agricultural base as well as livestock with genuine interest, sincere support, and policies that are practicable. We have to take back our prime position, both in cash and food crop production. Most importantly, we must assist farmers to add value to their produce and export to end foreign exchange, which should be the light to others and for others. Now, traditional institution, which I think is the last. Uh, thank you, dear participants and the organizers. Uh, question number one from my dear brother. Mr. Moses, is that ironically, Ilori used to be part of the Yoruba nation. However, we have a situation whereby an emirate has been fostered on the town for a long time. Shouldn't be a legal process to reverse this anomaly? If care is not taken, in decades to come, we might lose the true identity of this town. Ah, that is a very big question, my dear brother. Uh, you see, Ilori, I will advise, if anyone has not seen this movie uh, produced by Remden Optimum Communication, titled Afonja, it's a Yoruba movie. You can look for it, maybe it should be on YouTube or somewhere, or just Google it, or just get it downloaded, or you can go and buy it. When this movie was shot, see, when this movie was shot, I acted in this movie. My father, Peter Fatumidola, played the role of Afonja. And I was the, the poet man, Akewi, behind Afonja when we were moving in the forest. I was part of this movie when it was shot. I was working with one uh, 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 movie making company then, known as one of the leading movie production and marketing company in Nigeria then in the Southwest, Remdel Optimum Communication. I was the production and artist manager to this to this company, and I took part in most of their film shooting and acted in this movie. Do you know what? When this movie came out, we didn't take this movie to the market straight. We decided to show it around the cinemas across Southwest. 
And when we were about taking this movie to, I took this film movie on a tour. I booked different cinema houses and we pasted posters across Southwest and we made advert on radio and TV across Southwest. And we were about to take this movie to Ilori when my Oga got the message that the movie cannot be premiered, that we cannot show it in any cinema anywhere in Ilori, that they will not allow. And they did not allow. We wanted to use their stadium <laughs> so that people will come and see the truth. Buy this movie, you will see the truth. What led to it is part of the problem that I mentioned that in the olden days, we had this problem of, of maltreating ourselves out of selfish gain, selfish interest. It has been an age-long problem that we've been battling with. This wrong attitude, though we are accommodating, we are learned, we are this and that, many things are good about it, but this is a great, a big challenge that we have been faced with. Ah, Nisho Khan, Kusi. They did not allow us to bring this movie to Ilori. But when it came out on CDs, it was sold. We have three places in Ilori <laughs> that, uh, that we supply this uh, movie to. When you buy this movie, you will see and you will know what is the genesis of this problem. We ate ourselves so much. I could ah, ni piarawa, afena bajarawa, age long problem ni, that we need to work on and stop it. If not, my dear brother, we may not be able to win this battle. We may not be able to win this battle of, of Ilori. It's an age-long problem we've been faced with, and up to now, uh, I don't know. Shouldn't be a legal process to reverse this anomaly. See, this legal process, I tell you, may not work, or else we want to use unnecessary agitation. I mentioned about this is a time for us to launch our diplomatic attack in any form. Somebody mentioned about UNPO. What is going on in U U UNPO? We'll, we pray that everything work out fine. We we'll really help us. But as we speak right now, I believe they won't conquer Ilori. The Yorubas know Ilori belongs. They speak Yoruba. Every part of Ilori that you go to today, they speak Yoruba there. The only corner one aspect of Ilori is calling, calling it Emirate. When you buy that Yoruba bam, 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 you understand better. See, I've been to learning many times. I've, I've not seen anything Fulanese there. Even though in terms of governance that they are doing, but move to the public, move everywhere. They are Yorubas and they know. Quara State belongs to the Yorubas, either they like it or not. In learning that they have Emirates system of government, it belongs to Yoruba. Nekpaisha, Nekpaishe, Oro, Eru, Iwa. See, Okonja, Wikbe, Isheludikan, Nekpa Eru, Ede, Irono, Ishesi, Uwa, Siwa. All the time, the Yoruba, Newa. Enwe, Jelewa, Koshe, Mukuro. The legal process, they've cornered all the legal apparatus. From the center to everywhere, they've cornered our mind to that. I want, 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 I so we that we know that this place belongs to us, we may add them from other parts of Yoruba to drive this diplomatic launch attack and we we'll win the battle. Yeah, question number two. Okay, sir, what can we do to make all Nigerian youth to be one? Because I noticed that in Nigeria, if someone is going to A, to A part, another set of people will be going to B part. Why can't we go to the same direction? Mm. The, why can't we go to the same direction? The truth. Why can't we all face the truth? When we all know the truth, why are we afraid? Yeah, let me give an example. Our major problem. Yoruba to, to now, we are coward. Either we like it or not, we are coward. Only few of us. Only few, the percentage is very minute. We are coward. No one voice, no unity. And they've done it in such a way that our Yoruba leaders, Tori Jeku Jai, Feku Fiai, Matare, anyone they can, want to be a one, because they know a one called Kan, Chon Tele, Won Lenye, Chekwe Banshe, Feku Kanshe, Ronu, want the stage manager, Polo, Banshe, Feku Kan, Ronu, Re, Won, Niba, Yuru, Sibo, Mi, To Jekwe, Yeko Jai, Ife, Bogbo, Yoruba. When Shawara started his struggle, he's a Yoruba man. <laughs> As I'm speaking, I'm not saying 
I'm supporting Shewure or I'm not supporting Shewure. But the only thing I don't know pay attention is when Shewure started today, go and look at the point he made, why he wanted to stage a peaceful rally, a peaceful rally that he has not started. How many people did you see? It was only him and one or two uh, followers. Don't tell it to when you go online, a lot will comment on your reverse, lori, lori, Twitter, lori, Facebook, and other social media platform. You'll be sorry. That, ah! Boba Joma Usani, Boba Mo, Sheda, Wolfing, Kaboa, Shiria, Oseda, Koseda, Ula, Wafe, Ero, Ero, Bauke, Dato, Kodato, Mua, Otalono. Kakakakperawa irongba tene kani kabagbegun kabajewo kapane mana katosona abe sini kondemwe amashi alibwe amashi lare go and read social media and see what people posted you'll be sorry for this guy mani talon anche oh janjoni oh no man but ibo man will not say that. Do I want to go now? I've been before. Jenna, one I want to No, the tractor. I want to be charged. What you want to know? It's a good Jenna. It's a good Jenny. But I was a person. To be better, protest it. I want me here to Allah. Want so that I want so that want the support. Even both within the government of the day. Want so that want want the so want the so want the go want the go want the point to want the point to. I want I want tell you I want. You are what. Aso ma we aso ni ma debi pe kaka kape ra wa ka sobito ya kati begun kati jiro kati na rawa lawo upak be babai upak babai no mati da walele ele eja deba ironi alebu ishala mamari so that is the problem one day ti wamu a wakala ane watan di famara tan di faji wamu mara tepe amu ye bata di wano badu kan wani ro numa wano tu ajo ala wano toku ma wano fa one day di kamu kamara tan jono numa kana. Look for to be for us to now champion this truth and for this truth to set us free has become a problem. That is my submission. May God help us. Let us go. see today we can make a new decision. The future starts now. The youth, all of us, let us pass across this message. It is now or never. We can change our mindset, tackle all our attitude, attitudinal problem, and be focused. We need new Nigeria. We need new Yoruba. If what's come to we need to be on our own. And we can do it. Let us have a rethink. And we will get it right. I think number four, the basic fact is that Nigeria is not a country in the historic sense of it, but was a colonization contraption that I supported. Uh, that is from my dear brother, Mr. Shegun Ayeta. Uh, we are we are also a member in another platform <laughs> in another platform and i've been listening to and then reading some of his posts he's a yoruba talker talker and he's a man who has uh, 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 the fear of god and who is ready to go to any land he's among the brave people that i can talk about in terms of youth that are ready to push forward uh, mr shegwayeta thanks for this contribution the basic fact is that nigeria is not a country in the historical sense you look at it read about the uh, the emergence, what led to this country that we call Nigeria today? I won't cut you down. I won't super pop. Like it, could they? We both did she damages. Come on, now, can they she? Actually, what they come out one is your con. Turn it me. Now we should do it the way she. A jacket can look good. Bank out to tossy. Boba she 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 see. I quite agree with you, sir. And may God continue to bless you as you think positive for the Yoruba people more. Question number three. Why are some Yoruba youth afraid to say the truth? Why are some Yoruba youth afraid to say the truth? Uh, don't forget, we belong to a society whereby in Yoruba land that I've discovered, we belong to a kind of society whereby we look back our background before we had. And in a way, we are so funny that, ah, you know, you know, I mean, I want to ask you, I want to know, I want to know, 
elle me a parlé un bout ah ah nique ba nique ba tu vas dire à mon mari oh me jade oh me 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 jade est un coin noir mangé au rubai est un alors tu ah you know you know you know ah ah nique ba oh eh oh quand elle est quand tu vois mon yara tu vas dire oh nous t'en sortirons tu es mi et puis vous êtes mi pas mal oh on a dit elle est ni alors pas bon Ogbon agbon ju lo n pa wa lara Yoruba Yoruba youth will continue to be afraid You can see our Igbo Igbo brothers and sisters <laughs> they will go to any land Ayi o de pare I want I want be pe be ko I want job I want kan be ru won dollar pe ah won se ko eru ni won ta ma no fe se won lagidi ba o sa be de bere wa la won na won bere ni yesu gbon we the Yoruba I think It's the nature that we need to work on. Why are some Yoruba youths afraid to say the truth? It's about attitude that I've mentioned. Go and read my write-up from beginning to the end. I've mentioned what is our what problems we have, what our problems are. Ta fe je nikan. Ah, an ti pe a fe je nkan kan. Ba ba fe je nkan je kan ti pe a fe je nkan. Nkan ta fe je ko gbodo ba nkan ti a fe je ko gbodo ba je That is my submission we are afraid we are always coward but it's not the best well, but some but i must appreciate those who are pushing forward the struggle like somebody talked about UNPO what is going on some are still doing it but or to like say not all Yoruba youths some are getting it right some are bold some are brave but the percentage still very few because the percentage still very few is giving us a lot of setback the rest youth look at those few that are very bold that are not coward let's support them ko siku kankan to fe pa wa mbi kankan to ba ti dipo foju tan o foju po na ni yen ko si nkan kan te ni kankan le se ni they only call us to set to to address and face the reality is because we are still afraid that is why they are still maneuvering achieving all their all their all their bad aims until they know that we are one i want not that check back you about the dish of candola o no ra matakun yen se ya won lenu nigbati yen possible for the first time the yoruba unite in security is a big threat to the other region in nigeria ngba koko we can still achieve other things like that not only amateko may god help us ah then